So guys, while you're on your way to school, college, or work, and listening to Selena Gomez's Good For You, have you ever wondered how the previous generation must have crooned to Madonna and MJ? Yes, the proverbial Walkman. Originally named Soundbuilt in 1979, Sony Corporation launched only 30,000 of them, praying that they got sold. Say what? Their prayers got answered, and till date, it has sold more than 400 million units worldwide. However, two years before that, a German scientist named Andrea Pavel had independently invented a similar device called Stereo Bell, which was rejected by many corporations because according to them, people wouldn't be so crazy as to run around with headphones. Ha! Huh, tell them about it! Well, Sony did finally give Pavel credit and compensation for the same, but this magical device which weighed 14 ounces introduced a new thing to the elements of music, mobility. Soon its successors came in the form of Discman and Mini Discman. And while in 2001 they gradually got replaced by iPods, but the mobility is something that has remained permanent, such that now headphones have almost become extensions to our ears. But can you imagine a world without the music mobility? Well, then perhaps we would have got all our favorite songs printed and memorized before a long trip. <laughs>